Hello and welcome back to What Time, the channel where the NVIDIA Shield is always on our radar. In the build-up to the release of the new NVIDIA Shield, the remote attracted a lot of attention. Either people loved it or they hated it. One of the main complaints was about the Netflix button. We'll get onto that in a different video, but today we're going to concentrate on the menu button, the hamburger button on the top right hand corner. And what's so cool about it? Whilst you're here, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support really does help. Let's get stuck in! So the new remote for the NVIDIA Shield TV um, brings with it a hamburger bar menu button that is configurable. This is a great plus for many people. One of the things that can be done with it is to take screenshots directly from your remote. Those of you who already have NVIDIA Shields from before will know that taking a screenshot was a bit of a clunky affair using numerous key presses and the NVIDIA share feature, which was really not ideal. Now we can do it with just one click of the remote. Bish, done. To be able to do that, you'll need to configure the remote by diving into the settings menu. I should just add at this point that this is on the new NVIDIA Shield 2019 models. It's not currently available or not possible to do on the older 2017 or 2015 models as they have a different firmware. The older versions are currently running 8.0.1 whereas this new model is running 8.1.0. So in settings we're going to scroll down to remotes and accessories and in the remotes and accessories sub menu we're going to go to customize settings button so we drop into there and the first thing that we're going to see is the open settings that's default it'll open up your settings menu ai scale of scaling that's an ai scaling demo mode i think that's self-explanatory open an app so you can set it to configure it to open up any app that you want so you've already got the Netflix button on your remote control. You could set this one up to YouTube, for example. Open all apps view. That'll show you all the apps that you have on your shield. Mute volume. Guess what that does? Answers down below in the comment section. Open a quick setting. So things like check for upgrade, shield accessories, Ethernet, keyboard, send feedback to NVIDIA, restart Wi-Fi, disconnect Bluetooth accessories, all those kind of things. Then we have the send menu command to app. Take screenshot. That's the one for me. Take a lot of screenshots, I do. Open recent apps view. So that shows you all the apps that you've had open recently. Close all background apps. That's pretty self-explanatory as well. Toggle AI enhanced upscaling and AI upscaling. And finally, match frame rate, which is in beta. I understand the super user tech mods might be doing a video related to that in the next few days. So if you've got one of these new remotes, how are you configuring yours? What option are you going for? Comments down below. If you haven't got the new shield yet and the new remote, of course, what option would you choose? So what do you think? Love it or loathe it? Tell us if you've got one, what you think of it. I tend to think that those who have got it are going to be the ones that are loving it more than the ones who haven't got it. On another note, Please feel free to come and join us over on the NVIDIA Shield TV Noobs, Nerds and Inbetweeners group over on Facebook. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. If you didn't enjoy the video, give it a thumbs down. Why not? And at least tell us where we went wrong. That's it for now. We'll catch you when you catch us in the next one. Toodle pip.